Good day everybody, my name is Gabriella Wong and I'm 34 years old. I'm married with three children and I, I started um, the business Innovative Gears, a logistics company based in Suva and we basically uh, help people move their properties and their items from door to door. We relocate office, uh, um, office equipment and we also dispose of rubbish at the rubbish dump. And recently we've gone into um, various commercial contracts that allow us to haul bigger items. We started in 2017 and it, during the first year I worked alone um, with my two-ton truck. So I, basically I drive and I was lifting the smaller interior items for different households and then by the second year I needed help. So that's when we started reaching out for porters and my husband joined me in the second year. It came about one day when I was in New Zealand and the semi trailer comes by and um, I was just admiring the big wheels and the fancy lights on the truck but little did I know that the driver was a lady and when she got out I was in awe so when I saw her doing that I asked why aren't we doing this back at home but um, it didn't click to me then but and when we came back home my husband thought would you drive a truck because I love driving and so then we we test drove the same truck that we have today and I've never looked back. The challenge I faced was uh, was coming out of a full-time like a good a well-paid salary and earning $50 a week for the first six months. I the, I don't think it was a big challenge for me because I've always grown to like cars and trucks. Um, when you're a woman working out there on the field, um, there other other people who are willing to help you more than you know. And if you do take the time to listen, they actually give you good advice rather than what people think you get bullied and it's not like that. Um, one time I drove into Vinod Patel and this, I remember this driver, he, he couldn't believe that I was sitting behind the wheel. He stopped his truck next to mine and he goes, are you driving this truck? And I was ready to say, no, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> but uh, he asked me if I needed help and he ended up loading my items for me because um, for him, he was helping someone um, in need because at that time I was by myself. So I learned a lot along the way from the start and I'm very humbled for, for the help that's come across my way. WebC, I joined WebC in, I think it was 2021 and I didn't, um, didn't realize the impact WebC would have on my business. They've exposed me to different uh, coaches and techniques of doing business. Uh, they've helped me reach out for different programs and learn, learn different ways of uh, managing the team that I have and how to make it fit to what our business is about. Uh, WebC also uh, exposed me to community work and the community outreach is what uh, really touches uh, the soul at the end of the day. So I think WebC is, um, it, for me it's like a, a tree bearing fruit and I'm ready to pick at it. Wind Convention has grown from when it started. I, this year I believe that we will have more international speakers and it's a, a bit more vibrant and inclusive. So I don't feel that you'll be walking away bored this year. The wind convention is definitely getting better and better each year. When you join the wind convention, it's a different experience for each and every one of you out there. 
um, you are on your own journey and the WIND convention is something that just opens up your mind and um, makes you tick off what's on your bucket list. And so please attend the WIND convention, you won't regret it.